Hello guys, this is Brian Mounts. I run Old Friends Wine. I'm here with my old friend, uh, Rob Weingart. Rob is a certified sommelier, a certified wine specialist. He is the specialist on the Old Friends Wine team. We're gonna be covering a few topics today that are very commonly asked over on our website. So over on our website, which is linked down below, oldfriendswine.com, uh, we have an article about Pinot Noir and Malbec. There are a surprising number of people out there who don't really know the difference between these two wines. So we wanted to query Rob and get his thoughts on what the differences are. What do we need to know? Rob, would you like to expand? This is an interesting one to me because for for wine jerks like myself, Pinot Noir and Malbec are very, very different grapes. Um, and so to, to kind of take a step back, like that, that's the place to start is to realize that each of the rep, these represents a different grape. Um, Pinot Noir and Malbec are historically French grapes, um, where Pinot Noir is historically grown in the Burgundy region of France. Malbec is historically grown in the Bordeaux region of France. And so, um, as much as that may not seem like a, a big difference, a lot of things kind of stem from there. Uh, so to kind of like zero in, I would say Pinot Noir is definitely a, um, a, a thinner skinned grape. It's a grape where you can kind of assume that you would expect to see more like earthy flavors to it. Sometimes people even sort of describe it as being more on the like the, the mushroomy side of things. Um, Malbec is, is thicker skinned. Um, Malbec as a grape is typically blended, where Pinot Noir is usually left to sort of stand alone. Uh, Malbec has now found a new home in Argentina, where Pinot Noir has sort of become an international varietal for cool areas. So here in California, where I live, we expect to see Pinot Noir along coastal ranges. We see it in Santa Barbara County. We see it in Sonoma. We see it in the far north coast. Then it jumps up to Oregon. We don't usually see it in Washington so much. Uh, a lot of that has to do with how much rain it is. And that's part of why both of these grapes are not as well known as maybe a Cabernet Sauvignon. Both of these grapes uh, have a tendency to be a bit fickle. Um, and a lot of rain or a lot of heat can kind of mess up both of these grapes. High mold pressures, any of those things can kind of affect these grapes. So I, I suspect our folks have been see, looking at these two grapes as grapes they're seeing more and more and things that they're seeing more and more on wine lists and are curious about like why these two grapes are popping up the way that they are. Um, if I had to come down to it and you were looking at a wine list and making a choice, Pinot Noir is going to be light and refreshing. It's going to be like bright and kind of acidic, a little bit tart, maybe think like cherry-ish flavors or like tart cherry flavors. Uh, with Malbec, I would think sort of purpley fig flavors. It's going to be a little bit more robust and a little bit easier drinking, a little bit fuller flavor, uh, but not nearly as like tannic or sort of bitter as a, a Cabernet Sauvignon. Very cool. Thank you very much for that. Uh, again, for our viewers, there is an entire article about the differences between these two wines linked down below in our description. But as you go into grocery stores and into restaurants, you're going to find that there are lots of other wines on the wine lists and on the shelves. We also have another video here on this channel and over on our website as well that compares and kind of contrasts and explains to you the differences between all of the main, the main types of wine that you're going to find in just regular grocery stores, regular restaurants across the country. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you very much to Rob for his in-depth knowledge, and I hope to see you in the next video.